from Jewish Voice for Labour. In the 1930s in Germany, brown shirts conducted such anti-Semitic campaigns as this. I was born on the anniversary of Kristallnacht, the night when these campaigns reached their zenith. I always wondered how my parents, whose families fled the pogroms of Romania and Poland, felt about the timing of my birth. As in the economic crisis in the 1930s in Germany, these daubings of conspiracy theories implying Jewish international power and it is a scapegoating of Jews. Racism has been authorised by Trump. And look at the results. We've heard them listed today. And there was Monzi, Hanukkah attack, the Jersey supermarket killings, street attacks with bricks and fists, the Pittsburgh synagogue and California Poway massacres. And who have been Trump's allies? Trump and May. Through the election period, there was a propagation of a big lie that the socialists were a source of anti-Semitism. Well, crying wolf is a reckless and dangerous enterprise because no one believes you when the real enemy arrives because it is a diversion from the real source, which is thus given space to fester and grow, when it is essential that it is crushed before it gains traction. We would well do well to learn from Pastor Neymola, who we've heard reference just now, who wrote his poem in the 1930s, and I've taken the liberty of updating it a little bit. First, they came for the Romanis. And I did not speak out because I was not a Romani. And they came for the gays and the queers and the trans. And I did not speak out because I was not a gay or a queer or a trans. Then they came for the Muslims. And I did not speak out because I was not a Muslim. And then they came from the trade unionists. And likewise, I did not speak out because I was not a trade unionist. And then they came for the socialists, and I did not speak out because I was not a socialist. And then they came for the Jews, and I did not speak out because I was not a Jew. And then they came for me, and there was no one left to speak out for me. So today, here and now, this is not just a lesson about Jews. This is a lesson about all victims of racism. This is a lesson about scapegoating. This is a lesson about all racism, which we as Jews, as Muslims, as Romanis, as gays, as queers, as trans, as trade unionists and as socialists must all unite in one movement to crush. If I am not for myself, who am I? If I am not for the other, then I am not for myself. Thank you.